Walking with an open container of alcohol in Panama City is only allowed during street festivals, but Panama City's Downtown Improvement Board is working to give people the freedom to sip and stroll. News 13's Courtney Fegley is live in our studios tonight. Courtney, what types of open containers would be included? Open containers purchased from participating businesses may soon be permitted in downtown Panama City. Panama City's Downtown Improvement Board is in the process of drafting an open container ordinance. The ordinance will make downtown Panama City a special district, allowing customers to leave participating pubs, breweries, and restaurants with their alcoholic beverages and walk the downtown area. You know, it's nothing new. Other communities are already doing this. Um, when you travel, you see it very frequently. Based on research on other special districts, DIB Chairman Catherine Shores believes the ordinance will be a beneficial economic tool to the community. Everything we've read and learned uh, has proven to be positive results to these communities um, by having just a little bit of freedom for people to buy a beverage and be able to move around within a defined district. Participating businesses will provide special cups to customers for their alcoholic beverages. The cups will set those customers apart from people with unauthorized open containers. It's going to be a disposable cup and it will be specially marked, um, probably with a sticker that the selling establishment writes on the sticker the date that it was sold so that, you know, if there's any question, you can see exactly where it came from. Businesses can opt in or out of the program. History Class Brewing Company likes the idea of the open container ordinance. We're definitely huge fans of having um, people downtown. So anything that's going to bring people downtown to come visit us and visit our neighbors, um, everybody around here, the events, it's going to be a great time. The open alcohol container ordinance is still being drafted by the DIB. Now, Courtney, what is the time frame of moving this draft forward? They hope to bring the ordinance before the Panama City Commission in a few months. Courtney Fegley reporting live tonight. Thanks, Court.